come. Once more around that blue gate. And now Morgan sees that finish line. There she goes. Running across it. All right. Great job, Morgan. Finishing in a time of 43-48. That's 43-48 for Morgan Zafino's first run. And here we go, one more, and across the finish line she goes. Sarah finishes her second run in a blistering time of 24.79. That's 24.79. That is so much faster than the first run. Great job, Sarah. And on course right now for his first run is Hollymont Spencer Custo. Spencer is coming down this course very, very nicely. Going around that blue gate. And now head to the finish line, Spencer. Down you go. Great job. Wearing bib number 28 is, excuse me, 27. Holly Mount Spencer Custos finishes in a time of 25.59. That's 25.59. On course. Morgan is wearing book number six today. And here she comes. All right, around that red gate, heading towards the moon. All right, Morgan's looking very fine form here. Across the finish line she goes. And Morgan finishes with a second run time of 36.76. That's 36.76 and much, much faster than her first run. Great job, Morgan Zafino. And Spencer Custer from Hollymont, we're in group number 27, he's now on course. And he is just tearing up this race course on his second run. Around that last two gate, and over the finish line he goes. And Spencer finishes in a much faster run two time of 20.94. That's 2494. That is a full five seconds faster. Great job.
That's score 7.29. Well done. On course now. Scout is well as in honor grade earning today's prestigious Eagle level. Colin identifies himself as a comic book nerd, certifiable idiot, and a super Wallachian. And his parents, you probably know what that is. With number 24, Colin O'Neill, making his way down to the level 3 court.
All right, for the Lord Hope, Brothers Instructor, Max finishes in a time of 14059. That's 14059. Mm -hmm. Betsy decided that he was going to take on the challenge of level 3. So he deserves a lot of credit for that. I see all of our athletes for being here today in the heat of competition. And any one of them is always welcome to step it up and see if you can conquer the next level up. And here comes Spencer. And Spencer also wears the red orange Phoenix jacket representing the flame of the fire from which the new Phoenix rises. And here he comes, one more time, Spencer. Come on down, around that two feet. And then what's the center fire, buddy? Straight through. And there he goes. Wow, son. He even reaches out to break the beam with his hand. Spencer. And Spencer finishes in a time of 117.54. That's 117.54. And as you can see, Dan is making his way through the first head wall of the level three course. Following the guidance of the teachers. Hello. Hey, hurry up. Go. Go. 
You can, you know, Kreps travels down the hall. Never, never <laughs> <laughs> take the rap. Way to go, Max! Go, 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 go! Right down, right down! And head for the finish line, straight ahead. And there goes Max Travagon, team for Hollywood. Finishing up. In such a much faster time in the second run, <laughs> one zero six sixty five. That's wonderful, Max. You did a great job. You shaved forty seconds off your first run time. Well done, Max. Hazel is doing a very good job on her sixty. Getting way off on the edges there. Coming down around and through the finish she goes. Well done, Caitlin. You shaved three seconds off your first run time, finishing now in a time of 44.79. That's 44.79. Great job, Caitlin Weir. Dr. Caitlin was on for six years, and he is here to take on the challenge of our Phoenix Adaptive Race. I can do it. Accompanied by this very capable and expert the instructor as he navigates around in his six feet. From the line sharing program, Josh Reinhold. All right, Josh, three more kids to go. Coming around the red. Head for the three, and across the finish line, Josh. And here he comes. All right, straight down. And there goes Josh Reinhold, book number five, finishing in a much faster second run time of 1.1975. That's 1.1975. Well done, Josh. Through the final blue and across the finish line goes Jennifer Truscott. 
in a very fast time of 38.46. That's 38.46, much, much faster than your first run. Great job, Jennifer. Thank you. 
has been it down through the first head draw on the upper part of far line. Is now into the second. Very smooth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And with two more to go. Wider and across the finish line he goes. Well done, Jim! With a little victory cheer there. Finishing his first run in a time of 14090. That's 14090. Way to go. Well done, Charlotte. Marcus Romanowski. Michael Frost, 
Ignition. It is very fast time of 1-19-23. That's 1-19-23. Well done, William. So check it out again, everyone. We will have our pre-key here at Hollymont. Starting at 3 is when the band will be breaking up to continue for Colin and anyone who wants to join him on the dance floor. Here comes Colin C. He may be Come on down through that blue gate, Colin, across the finish line. Coming on down now. Actually, this is probably the closest. 
and this is William coming on down. This is six feet. All right, a little stretch up, but besides that, he is up and finishing up through the course. Once again, that is that Palm Beach Pier. Never give up. Um, and Rivers, so glad that our athletes here today. As they persevere. All right, down through the Blue Gate, William. And across the finish line you go. And there you have it. All right, well done, William. Great job. We love that perseverance and that Attitude that you have. This is Michael's second run. Coming on down. Followed closely by the instructor. So the gap of that last three groups. And down through the finish line goes Michael Downing. Michael, great second round. You showed five seconds off your first time. You finished in a time of 1.12.28. Awesome. Very good job. This from the Mississauga Dream Team. He's our birthday guy, as, as you recall. He will be 16 years old in three days. So we do wish him an early birthday, and I hope he will stick around for some of the celebration later. Remember the awards will be at 2.30, followed by that very famous, well-known, Alamont Osprey School. Vincent, through that blue, 
Across the finish line you go. And indeed, Vincent was much faster than his first run, finishing his second run in a time of 104.94. And Andy doing a great job on his kids too. as he sharply veers through the final step of blue gates and across the finish line. And Andy McCutton <coughs> finishing in a very speedy time for his second run, 1-11-64. That is 10 seconds faster than his first run. Well done, Andy. And here comes Preston. Making some very sharp car turns around the gate. Heading for that final set of blue gates and across the finish line he goes. Well done, Preston. Finishing in a blistering second run time of 1.0881. 